Why? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> everybody you don't know it's your girl Jules and today I am back again with another video as you can tell from the description of the video on you don't know when we come to talk about my baby barn but before me jump in a video go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new here go ahead and turn on your post notification bell members say me want to know for like leave a comment and watch the little ads them you don't know angle that for me um guys my baby finally finally arrived if you are watching this video that means him of the baby long time and she's one month old today on the 20th she was born on the 20th of july so i'm gonna just tell you how a little labor and delivery go it's not a typical labor and delivery story time but yeah i'm gonna try the routine um, but wake up like probably after six in the morning and I realized that my bed was you know wet so me I like wait did I pee myself so anyways me did kind of in denial so I went and took up my phone call my mother and told her what was going on and she was like if you see it's still running down when you use the bathroom or running down your leg that means you walk up break and my call god mommy because i don't know say if I anything for happen she's gonna come and take me to the hospital so i'm gonna go back and lay down put a towel underneath me and it kept on happening so i get up and be like okay this is it jules i was not feeling any pain just a little bit pinching here and there i had some stuff that i wanted to be done in the house so i got up and i do it i kind of straighten up my room and waited for her to come she came like probably less than a, within a less than an hour she came I had my bag packed ready and everything I was trying not to panic you know I was just trying to be calm she come go out there I went in the car we went to the hospital which is not far away and we were just there I went straight to the labor and delivery ward at the QH hospital Queen Elizabeth and i told the nurse that i have water dripping down my legs and i think my water broke and she was like come on in and she got me a bed quick and fast she told me to pee in a cup so she could test my urine to see if i was leaking amniotic fluid or it was just pee turn out i was indeed correct i was losing my amniotic fluid so things started to happen so she hooked me up on the fe fecal, man fetal monitor correct me if i'm wrong um this is like the monitor that checks the baby's heart rate and also my contractions so i was not having any contraction at the moment so she come and she tell me well miss harris we're gonna have to induce you if you're not certain what i mean about to induce someone to induce labor that is when they give you um a drug called pictosin that you know start up labor and it allows contractions to happen so i was very fearful because that was the same thing what happened to me with my son I had to be induced and it was no normal pain like me feel like semi dago dead so this time around I was very stuck on this is going to be a better experience and since like everything about my pregnancy this time around was very different I told myself well I cannot have the same experience so i held on to god i held on to my faith and they're like yeah man me i'm gonna go angle this and everyone that god placed around me during my pregnancy trust me they were christians they were strong they helped me pray they were just there for me even the nurse in the labor and delivery she was there for me 
and um, she was like, we're gonna do this today, Julian, it's me and you here. And she say, don't, don't scream, don't behave bad, be on your best behavior. And I'm like, I'm gonna try. I said, I'm not gonna promise you, but I'm going to try. God bless our soul, cause she's nice to see. She's, you know, I could feel that she was God sent. She just, she just nice. So anyways, um, she put on the pictosin and then after an hour she came back to check me and she was like, you are three centimeters dilated. I was there on the phone with my mother. She was checking in between and my other mother, which is her godmother, they were both checking on me in between. I must take time out to tell them thank you because they put up with me through my whole nine months and it was not easy and i know that it could have not been easy on them like emotionally so i just want to take this time out to thank my mother and my other mother <laughs> that is my baby's godmother for standing by my side throughout this nine months so anyways after that, the, I could feel the pain coming on. I mean, like, Jesus, I mean, who can't pack everything? I'm holding on to God's strength. I tried to behave myself, but when it reached to the point when we could not take it anymore, I mean, like, whoa, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I was just calling on Jesus, you know, because I know that He delivered me the last time and He would deliver me again and the nurse come and she was like do you want something to help you with the pain and i was like yes i asked her if i was if i could get an epidural and she was like no because that could that would have been something that we discussed before and i would sign off on the papers but i was in active labor and that could not be done so she gave me an injection on my bottom to help with the pain which it did not work so anyways like within half an hour um i called out because the pain was there i called out i was like nurse um i feel like i want to use a bathroom i could feel a pressure down there and i know that that pressure down there mean that the baby is coming it was uncontrollable so anyways guys she came the midwife came and the nurse came and she come and she was like oh i can see the baby's head and made it twist up all over the bed there's a twist up all over the bed so she was like position yourselves properly julian we're gonna get this baby out and she told me to push she held my hand because it was just me her and a nurse me the midwife and a nurse she held my hand and i was like List, the whole time I was there, I was worshipping, I was singing, I thought that I would be disturbing other people, but no one really cared, I guess. And when the pain lit me, I was like, He made a way, when there seemed to be no way, and it looked as if it was over, you made a way, and I'm standing. You made a way. Trust me, it did not sound so beautiful. It was, you know, a painful singing. But in that moment, I was singing. And she said, push, Julian. And I pushed. And I was like, me can do it. She said, yes, you can do it. You can do it. And then when I look, um, I saw God mommy coming in the room because I had messaged her and I, I had told her, I cannot do this. And, you know, I wish she was there. So she came um, and then I pushed again and she was there holding my hand and encouraging me. Like it meant everything. Like my actual mother could not be there, but she was there, you know she was there representing christ you know and it was just amazing i pushed again and the baby came out you know a little bit more and then i did one big push and they said it was like oh the head come out and i did another push and then everything just came out trust me guys my whole labor and delivery time frame was like six hours with my son i labored for hours before the little boy could have come out it is so traumatic if you want to you know find out what happened with my son i have a video 
um, on here as well. I'm going to link it below and you can go ahead and watch that video. So based on my experience with my son and my experience with my daughter, I can say that having my baby here in Barbados was best to none. It was the best decision that I made and I thank God that I had the opportunity to have, to have had my other child in Barbados and not in Jamaica because me don't know me don't do me that traumatized plus traumatized plus tax anyway so the baby came out and I held they put the baby on my my chest and she laid down for a while and I was just looking at her and I called her name her name um, means God is gracious I'm not gonna tell you guys her name but me can't tell her no say when I can call her Azalia which means um, reserved by God so I was there looking at Azalia and she was she's so beautiful I was like that is my daughter I was like my daughter this is my daughter I was just you know it was just blissful it was just such a blissful occasion I was overwhelmed with gladness and you know the goodness of God I was just so appreciative that he brought me through that time you know safe so and alive and well because others did it and didn't come out triumphantly and i did so um my brother showed up after that they cut the umbilical card they took her away to give her an injection um because i had some issues before she came and she they had to make sure that everything with her was okay she came back she passed all her tests she was healthy and guess what i was starving me did hungry bad become like me never eat for days because like during the pregnancy i had a love hate relationship with food so i was always hungry um after that it was just you know me resting learning how to breastfeed my baby and stuff like that one of the things i can tell you guys like what helped me to have such a fast and effective delivery me use evening primrose oil me drink my raspberry tea pregnancy tea and in the end at 36 weeks i started doing this stuff i have a short video with what i was doing so you guys can check that out as well also check out my tiktok you know page um it's linked down below you can follow for updates follow my instagram for updates follow my facebook for updates guys just you know continue to give me the support hit a like on this video like i said i'm member for what like adds them so guys um this is going to be it for now me think me tell you a little story i have so much that i want to share with you guys like especially because a lot of people are wondering like who's the baby's father and those who know me personally is like i got baptized like a year ago and then i got pregnant so it's like a lot of questions a lot of um people are wondering you know what happened but let me tell you something not because i got baptized a year ago and i got pregnant like you know within that year it doesn't mean that i'm less than a follower of christ or i'm less than you know loved or anything wanted and and he's gonna he turned his back on me and he cast me out no it was nothing like that his grace and his mercy never left me he forgave me i forgave myself he loved me he came after me sought me out you know he delivered me from the situation that i've got myself in and all i can say is if you are a christian just continue walking with god no matter what happens and if you are not a christian i will encourage you to get to know christ he is the way the truth and the life so guys as i always say <laughs> go ahead and subscribe yeah i said it already subscribe to my channel and you don't know stay blessed and stay positive until then guys i'm out Bye.